In this video, I want to talk about your product. This is something that a lot of entrepreneurs face as a problem. And the primary reason is, is they all spend their time in the build phase. Let's go like this. Let's go build versus sell. The reality is, is that the third step in the proper product cycle is building. It's not the first. This is where so many entrepreneurs spend so much time. I've worked with people that, I've known people that have spent 18 months trying to build and never went out and started selling. And then when they went out to sell, nobody was buying. So they went back to build again. They did it completely wrong. So in the product cycle, if you're making under $100,000 a year, that's probably what you're doing. If you're trying to become an entrepreneur or you are an entrepreneur and you're stuck with this $100,000 or below mark, the problem is your product. You're not trying to sell it as much as you're trying to build it. If you go out today and you start trying to sell whatever it is that you sell, you're going to learn more in that process than you will ever learn in trying to build. Now, I'm not talking about just going and surveying and all those things. Actually go out and sell it. You can survey a bunch of people, but if they're not willing to give you money for what it is that you're selling, your product or your service, then they're not potential buyers and their data is worthless to you. Sell it. Ask them, hey, you know what? I'm doing an event. It's going to be $500 for you to attend. This is what we're going to learn. They say, you know what? I don't want to learn that. Well, what do you want to learn? Okay, perfect. Next person. So we're going to do an event. We're going to be teaching you this. Oh, that is what I want to learn, but $500 is too much. Or you know what? I don't think that $500 is valuable enough. You need to do that in the sales process to figure out exactly what your product needs to be. A good case in point. Recently, we opened up a new office in Ohio to sell local marketing services that we'd been selling all across the United States and Canada and actually a couple of clients in Europe as well. And we found that our price point for Ohio was way too high. So we had a decision to make. We could either charge less while still doing the same work, which of course we didn't want to do. We could create a lower priced product so that we could fit the market. We didn't want to do that either. So what do we do? We stopped trying to sell it. We found that our product in that market was not a viable product. We continue to sell it in other markets and we continue to thrive past this point. So what are you doing with your product? Are you a builder or are you a seller? And if you're a builder, you're right here. If you're starting to figure out that you know what, you need to sell it a little bit more often than not, then you're starting to work your way up into this hobby standpoint where you're making about $250,000 a year. You're hitting that ceiling though because you're not perfecting it. You're not concentrating 100% of your time and energy on selling your product first and then letting your team do the implementation and the build out of the product afterwards. So that's the information that you go from job to hobby to business. Right here, all you're doing is building. Here you're starting to sell a little bit. Over here, all you're doing is selling. You're making sure that the first thing that you do every morning when you wake up is sell. You're making sure that the last thing that you do before you go to bed at night is you follow up with your leads and make sure that you're trying to close. And when you do that, you have a business. You make a million dollars a year. We've talked about in previous videos what that could mean to you and your family. So I'm Roger, the partner, and I want to show you how to develop the perfect product and go from a job to a hobby to a business so that you can live the lifestyle that you want to live. Thank you.